claims her little daughter was kidnapped. So why didn't Casey call police immediately? Casey says she was conducting her own investigation. Casey claims she was searching on her own for little Kaylee and the alleged babysitter, Zaneda. But was Casey searching for her baby and her babysitter? Or was she someplace else, like out partying? Look at these photographs that we at On the Record obtained. These photos that you are looking at are from June 20th, just four days after little Kaylee was last seen by her grandparents. That is Kaylee's mother, Casey Anthony, at a nightclub in Orlando named Fusion. The photographers who took the pictures went on the record. John, let me start with you. Um, so you took these photos sure. on June 20th? Uh, yeah, the, the night of June 20th. Uh, Teddy and I usually work at a, a club called Fusion. Uh, we take a lot of photos there. Uh, Casey was there that night. How sure are you that it was uh, Friday night, June 20th? I'm um, absolutely positive. The uh, the photos are time stamped. Every time the, the photo's taken, it embeds it into the uh, into the Editing. the code of the photo. And when I upload it to my Flickr account, it uh, it actually says right on my Flickr account, June 20th. Why were you taking photos Everywhere. at the club that night? Uh, Teddy and I usually go to uh, clubs around Orlando, and we uh, were hired to do nightlife photography. And that was just one of the nights we were working at Fusion. John, who was she there with? Um, I, I really don't recall. Uh, me and Teddy were bopping around that night, taking pictures of a lot of people. Uh, she just happened to be one of them. Um, so I don't recall any specific people that she was there with. Teddy, do you know who she was there with? Uh, not exactly. We showed up uh, later in the evening, probably after midnight uh, on that Friday night, uh, and set up and uh, took pictures just throughout the night until the club closed at 2. Stunning photographs and then a mysterious letter. Listen to this jailhouse call made by Casey to her brother Lee. Everything's fine, just trying to meet and talk with, um, you know, as many people as possible right now. Yeah. So, um, you know, how is the, uh, um, that letter coming? Um, well, when I get a chance to actually write a little bit more, um, I should be able to do that within the next little bit since I have some, I guess, quote, wreck time. How was this letter that people were speaking about that you know Lee, your son, was talking about, how was that progressing? Because that, if I understand correctly, was supposed to be a bridge here to give really more concrete information. What do you know? What did, you tell, what did your daughter tell you? Well, this letter you're talking about that was given to Mr. Baez, I have not actually seen it. I don't know the content of it myself yet. Hopefully we're going to find out about that very soon. So I'm, she I'm, wrote it and she gave it to the lawyers, what you're telling us. As, as, as far as I know, yeah. She, she's been passing information. But anything that she writes down, you guys got to realize, there's someone from Corrections watching what she's writing. Not reading it, but watching what she's writing. Anyone that's in there, they have very sensitive rules and regulations that when you're writing something down, someone's right there watching. Not reading, but watching what you're doing. So there's no privacy here. Um, that's just the way it is. That's the rules and regulations. So I wish I had content. I didn't even know too much about that until like you brought it up. So I'll hopefully I'll get a chance to read it and understand it. Was it a misunderstanding between Casey and her father about the letter, or was he just sort of responding to questions and it was a bad game of telephone going on? Probably that. Probably the bad game of telephone. Um, and, you know, again, where it all came from was me giving my sister suggestions and ideas on how she could reach out. Now, of course, being selfish, we want a personal letter to us. You know, we want her to, you know, tell Jose something. We want her to talk to investigators. We just want to know what's going on with her because we realize whenever we do get to talk to her because it's recorded and all this stuff, she may feel necessary for whatever reason to hold something back. So we're trying to at least give her every reason to say, hey, if you need to talk to somebody, there's means in which you can talk to us, but no letter has ever been created, no letter has ever been sent. We haven't even sent uh, letters to her because we know how the how the process works, um, you know, with the uh, letter in the jail system, sure. and we know that it'll go through other inmates' hands, you know, that run that until it gets to her, oh, okay. and it's not our intention to, you know, spread other stuff that came up with a, um, 
you know, somebody claiming, uh, an inmate claiming that Casey said this and all that kind of stuff, because that's, number one, it's always inaccurate, and then number two, it doesn't help finding Kaylee, which is the point of everything. Coming up, so much of this mysterious disappearance revolves around this alleged babysitter, Zaneda Gonzalez. Police say they have found Zaneda. So is she under arrest? Does Zaneda know Casey and her daughter Kaylee? You will hear from the police next. We are in Orlando, Florida, digging deep into the mystery of missing two-year-old Kaylee Anthony. Casey Anthony has stood by her story that she dropped her two-year-old Kaylee off with a babysitter named Zaneda Gonzalez. Casey told law enforcement she left little Kaylee with Zaneda at Sawgrass Apartments in Orlando and that when she came back to pick up Kaylee, neither the babysitter nor Kaylee was there. That was June 16th. Now investigators finally tracked down Zaneda Gonzalez. Mark Berman takes you through everything we know about this woman. Greta, we're standing in front of the apartment uh, 210 right upstairs here at the Sawgrass Apartments where on June 17th, the woman by the name of Zaneda Gonzalez actually came into the office here and asked and was interested in renting an apartment. This name is the name that, that Casey Anthony gave detectives initially, the name of her nanny, and brought the detectives over to this location, not specifically this apartment, but this complex, and said this is where the nanny lived that she had been dropping Casey off for the last two years. Now, ironically, Zaneda Gonzalez came in here on June 17th, and she was actually shown this apartment right up here. Now she filled out a guest card. And in the guest card, management says they only take the name, they take the phone number, and the email if they want to give it. They don't get a signature. They don't write it in their own hand. The man management here was very helpful in helping us out to try to separate between somebody that's name is Zaneda Gonzalez and Casey Anthony, are they one and the same? I'll tell you what I found out. First, management says in, in the office, people that actually saw Zaneda Gonzalez, they looked at her and she was visibly Hispanic. Visibly Hispanic is how they described her. Dark hair, uh, above the shoulder hair that was coarse appearing with a slight wave. Now she had brown eyes, and some of the interesting things that they do when they actually get an application is they run a credit check and a criminal check. Those are two things that they didn't get to because a full application wasn't made. Now, the detectives that came here just today, they brought a 12-pack photo lineup. They had 12 photographs in that lineup. And in that lineup was somebody that they believed to be Z Zaneda Gonzalez. Now, there was two people that were shown those photos, two people in the office that actually saw that woman in the office on June 17th, and both of those parties in the office picked out the same person. Now I asked one of those people, was the person that you picked out in that photo Casey Anthony? And she said, absolutely not. Well, we tried to back up some of this information by taking the phone number for the office here and contacting our source on the phone records to see if on the 17th of June or any time in that period between the 16th and the 18th that Casey Anthony called this office. The phone number was not on her cell phone. The number that was left on the guest card was a cell phone. Greta, it seems rather complicated and, and I would agree with anybody. How does Casey Anthony know the name Zaneda Gonzalez and how does she know that Zaneda Gonzalez even came over here to actually get a guest tour of this apartment? Well, I mean, the answer will have to be that Casey Anthony and Zaneda Gonzalez are either one and the same person, or they cross paths at some point, or Zaneda Gonzalez's identification cross paths with Casey Anthony at some point, or they have a third party that they both know. Either way, the person that came here on June 17th, by all indications, was not Casey Anthony. Deputy Sheriff Carlos Padilla spoke about Gonzalez. Carlos Zenaida Gonzalez, the woman who looked at the Sawgrass Apartments, the one you guys have been in contact with, what kind of involvement does the Sheriff's Office believe she has in this case? 
We believe she has no involvement. I think that uh, we don't know exactly how it is that her name was a coincidence, or, but we don't think that she's involved at all. Well, she was shown the photo and she did not recognize this person. Uh, my understanding is that this person has come forward and uh, she said, you know, she doesn't want to be bothered anymore. Are you willing to say now that the babysitter does not exist, that it's Zenaida Gonzalez, that the name she gave does not exist, or is there still a possibility there's some other babysitter? Oh, there's still a possibility. Keep in mind that this is an ongoing case and anything's possible. So right now we're leaving all the avenues open. We're going down these avenues to look for little Kaylee. We're doing our best to find her. Do you guys have any theory as to how Casey came up with the name Zenaida Gonzalez? No, we don't. We've thought about a lot of things. and. Could be co coincidence, or maybe she happened to be there and saw the name. We don't know. I mean, we would be speculating. Coming up, Cindy Anthony insists her jailed daughter is protecting little Kaylee from harm. She will tell you herself next.